Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to explain about human kidney. Children, in human beings there is a pair of kidneys and a pair of uterus and a urinary bladder represent the excretory system. The nitrogenous end products in man is called urea. Let us see the process of excretory system in human beings. We will start discuss with our kidney. Yes. Kidney is a bean shaped red color organ. The kidneys are attached to the dorsal body wall on either side of the vertebral column in the abdominal cavity. Its outer margin is convex and inner margin is concave. The notch present on the inner margin is called helius. Renal artery which brings blood to the kidney from the heart enters the kidney through this helius. The renal vein which carries blood from the kidney to heart and uterus come out of the kidney through this helius. Each ureter is a thin wall tube and the anterior end of ureter is a wide end called pelvis. The ureters open into the urinary bladder and the urinary urine is stored in the bladder till it is filled and then it is sent throughout a canal called Uretra. On the top of the each kidney, an adrenal gland is present. It is an endocytic gland and has nothing to do with excretion. Children, to understand the structure of kidney, we will study the longitudinal section of the kidney first. Now, let us discuss the structure of a kidney. The outer region of kidney is deep red in color and it is called cortex. The inner region is light red in color and it is called as medulla. The medulla has 9 to 12 inverted pyramid like structures with their broad base towards the cortex and narrow end towards the pelvis. This extends into pelvis. The broad ends of each pyramid is branched and gives that appear to sepals of flowers. Hence, these are called clysis. Through glyses, urine reaches funnel like ducts and from there into pelvics. From pelvics, urine enters into ureters. Let us discuss the structure of nephron. Yes, the structure unit of kidneys or long tubules are called nephrons. These are responsible for urine formation. In human kidney, there are about 2 lakhs of nephrons are presented. Each nephron has two portions. One is looks like cup structure called Bowman's capsule and a tubular portion and Bowman's capsule is two layered cup with space in between the two layers. Inside the cup of Bowman's cup capsule there is a network of large number of capillaries which is called as glomerulus. After entering the kidney the renal artery divides into a number of arterioles. Each renal arteriole enters the Bowman's capsule has afferent arteriole form a capillary network. Inside the cup like structure and leaves the Bowman's capsule have afferent arteriole. The tubule part of nephron has three parts. There are proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Hensley and distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubules of nephrons open into collecting tubules. Urine is formed in the Bowman's capsule. The capillaries in the glomeruleus have small microscopic pores in their walls. Then, the blood when the blood flows through these capillaries in the glomeruleus, it gets filtered through the pores in the wall of the capillaries. The blood pressure provides the required pressure for this filtration. After all the water soluble small molecular weight, weight substance such as salt glucose, amino acids along with the nitrogenous wastes are filtered from the blood. Then the blood cells and proteins are not filtered through the pores present in the capillary walls. This filtration is called ultrafiltration. Approximately 120 ml of urine is formed in the kidney of per minute. In 24 hours about 175 liters of urine is formed in our kidneys. However, all this is not excreted. 
only one or two liters of urine is excreted and the rest re and the rest of it is reabsorbed into the body let us see how this is reabsorbing into our body yes the reabsorb absorption of the urine produced by bowman's capsule takes place in the tubules portion when the filter reaches the proximal convoluted tubule the epithelial cells of the tube reabsorb several substances in the selective manner and transport them back to blood the reabsorption of water and salts also occur in the loop of hensley and it is distal convoluted tubule water salts and other substances reabsorbed by these tubules and transported into the blood and unreabsorbable substance along with water enters the collecting duct which discharges urine into pelvis and then into ureter urine is now produced continuously and is concentrated continuously this reaches pelvis and it is excreted out the smooth muscles means involuntary muscles in the walls of ureter produces peristaltic movements which propel urine into the urinary bladder then the urinary bladder is a muscular sac and it opens the outside of urethra at the junction of the bladder and ure urethra there is a opening called sphincter urination is the reflex action but in elders it is voluntary in children urination is an involuntary action normally when about 200 to 300 ml of urine reaches the bladder the muscles in its walls contract and relax pulling urine out from our body let us see what is dialysis and its principles dialysis means children in the previous chapter you have learned the number of wastes are produced in the body which are carried out by the blood through the kidneys in the kidneys these wastes are separated from the blood and excreted as urine in certain disease conditions the nephrons in the kidneys die in such persons blood is not filtered and urine is not produced as a result waste products accumulate in the body and they become toxic to the body such people may lose consciousness and or may even die also for this the doctor treats such patients by artificial removing the waste material from the body and they sub Separating of waste materials from the blood by artificial method is called dialysis. Oh, the dialysis machine is used for this purpose only. The blood from the artery is sent into this dialysis machine when it is filtered, and the filtered blood is sent into the body through a vein. For the persons whose kidney does not function have to undergo dialysis once in a three or four days throughout their life, or get to transplanted points to be remember in this lesson are kidneys are the chief excretory organs in man and a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters and a pair of bladder are present in human body the kidneys are in bean shaped and are in dark pink colored one of each kidney adrenal gland is present which is an endocytic gland and has nothing to do with excretion and on the convey edge of kidney is the notch called helius renal artery enters the kidney while the renal vein and a ureter leaves the kidney through helius ureter opens into urinary bladder it is a muscular sac and communicates to outside through urethra the outer region of the kidney is called cortex the inner region of the kidney is called medulla in which there are 9 to 12 pyramids kidney consists of several thousands of nephrons which are the basic structural and functional units nephrons consist of bowman's capsule and nephric duct the nephric duct consists of proximal convoluted tubule such as loop of hensley and distal convoluted tubule etc the nephrons opens into collecting ducts The wastes are filtered in Bowman's capsule. The artificial kidney that filters waste from the blood is called dialysis machine. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy.